to me the best thing about triangle of sadness is that this movie is unlike anything that you would see in a hollywood or a british movie the way it is made like camera angle techniques style of comedy written and direction etc are all very unique and that is exactly what is so refreshing about it if you watch so many american and british movies just like i do and then suddenly you watch a european made movie like triangle of sadness you find yourself in a situation where you are discovering new ideas new approach to cinematography which you normally do not see that often and hence feel a breath of fresh air triangle of sadness to me is a breath of fresh air the comedy done in this movie how can i describe it it is so raw and it might look weird to you at first but then the more you see it the more you marvel at it i now feel that the comedy is done to a more extent in hollywood movies and to a lesser extent in british movies are quite polished and lack a certain amount of rawness i hope rawness is a is a word <laughs> the comedic rawness is what i think differentiates triangle of sadness from your typical american made comedy movie i hope i'm making sense from this rawness analogy which i'm doing right now and you guys are getting my point as well i hope so <laughs> talk about something new for the audience there is a scene at the start of this movie where two characters are sitting in a car and the way they have used the camera panning technique there it is something that you would not find in a hollywood movie that's for sure i think that car scene sets up the movie for the audience quite nicely and tells them buckle up folks you are here for a new style of cinematography Triangle of Sadness was directed by a Swedish filmmaker named Ruben Östlund and man hasn't he done a good job or what Now I want to see his earlier movies also Two movies come into my mind and whom I heard about somewhere one is Force Majeure released in 2014 and the other The Square released in 2017 Man I got to watch those movies ASAP. I'll order those on Blu-ray. I also think that the acting of Harris Dickinson in this movie deserves a mention. He has played his role remarkably well. Other cast members of this movie have also done a good job I believe. Talk about cast members of this movie there is one sad news related to this movie and that is regarding a female actor named Charlby Dean who was a South African model and actress apparently Triangle of Sadness is the last ever film which Charlby Dean has worked in as she died from a viral infection in her lungs in August this year she was just 32 years of age a horrible news indeed may her soul rest in peace Coming back to Triangle of Sadness the movie was premiered at 2022 Cannes Film Festival where it received an 8 minute standing ovation and won the highest award which is Palme d'Or award quite an outstanding achievement for this movie no doubt so you see Triangle of Sadness is an extremely good comedy movie and therefore is highly recommended